Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I got a new drone here to check out. Uh, I've had a Reckon FPV, uh, Reckon 5 for quite a while. Got one of the original ones. And after many years of faithful treatment, it's kind of given up the ghost. And if you've been watching my channel at all, you've known that I've, I've created some like lightweight 5 inch um, long range quads with the 03 air unit in it. I've lost two of them due to mistakes on my part. So I've been wondering why no one is putting one out. And just on a whim, I checked out Reckon FPV site and they had a Reckon 5 with the 03 air unit. And that's what I have here today. I'm gonna go ahead and get this box opened up and check it out real quick. And then uh, I'll get to uh, configuring it and I'll get some flight video up after afterwards. But let's just get this unboxed here. Get this open and see what's inside because I have no idea what it comes with. Um, first thing right on top, I've got the got the Reckon 5. Um, yep, looks very much like my um, original Reckon 5 with the Cadex Vista that I had in it, but it's got the DJI 03. Look at that, it's the first quad I've got with an 03 where they put a little sticker over the lens to protect it during shipment. Uh, the version I got comes with the their, their ELRS 2.4 gigahertz, and just like the original, it's got a pivoting antenna, which I actually really like. Get it out of the way when you're traveling, putting in a bag or whatever. I don't know if you can actually see that right there, but it actually pivots out of the way, so that's really nice. Um, got your O3 air unit in here. Nicely tucked in, you've got, it's wrapped up in TPU real nicely. Got access to the USB-C and the SD card slot. So, yeah, it looks really nice. Looks like, uh, I'll have to look at the specs, I forgot to check those out, so I'll, I'll add those down in the description of the specs of the flight controller and everything. Uh, so, yeah, feels really nice. Uh, this one's the 4S version. I went with 4S because I've got a lot of 4S batteries and they don't have any too many quads that are set up for 4S. But so, yeah, so that's in there. Got a naked action camera mount, but I'll, I'm sure I'll never use that. Uh, you've got some Gemfan Hurricane SL5125. Uh, these are nice, lightweight, efficient props. And you've got some arm braces, which... I'll actually probably put on some spare screws, you know, prop direction, some stickers, and a spare battery strap. So not, not a lot of uh, extras in there. Uh, so anyway, let me get this thing programmed up, and then I'll get it up in the air and show you some flight video. So I'm going to give this uh, new Reckon 5 a test. Uh, first flight, just going to take a real easy so one thing i did notice is i got into esc configurator because of behel heli uh, s esc and i noticed that it was set for 96k hertz um, a lot of people know by now that the uh, o3 can't be at uh, 24k hertz for uh, the motors because it can just cause you some real problems so anyway i'm just going to cruise around a little bit and get a feel for it uh, goggle view looks really smooth so that's nice we'll see what the stabilized video looks like of course um, this is the 4s version so just so you know that that's what i what i have i didn't get the success i didn't see a success available another thing and i don't know how it's going to affect it but it's about 100 degrees inside a little breezy so that kind of sucks um, but like i said it's gonna be a short flight uh, it locked on pretty fast GPS. So, you know what? Do a little barrel roll just for giggles. See how it goes. Um, this isn't the best battery, but put a little speed in there. So uh, about 45 miles an hour right there. Seems really smooth. Uh, the other thing I did was I put it at... Um, I did the ELRS uh, preset in Betaflight, the one that uh, is for 50 hertz. I've always been told that's better for range, so I feel like that's a good idea. Um, so far, yeah, really liking how it flies. Really nice and smooth, easy to control. 
even in the wind, it looks really smooth. Like I said, it'll be really interesting to see what it's like when I get back to my house, look at the recording, and talk a little bit about what I get there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say at this point. So, yeah, no, oh, nice and smooth. A little flip, nothing, again, crazy. I'm not trying to do anything nuts here. Got a little bit of jerkiness, maybe jello. I don't know if jello is the right word, but definitely jerky. Right, sometimes that could be just me and my, just, you know, not good at the sticks. But yeah, it flies really nice. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for a landing because it is, it is blazing hot out here and I don't want to stay in the heat anymore. So I'm going to come in and uh, put it down and then uh, get back to the house and I'll take a look at the video and I'll let you know what I think. From that, uh, from the recorded video, the stabilized. Uh, yeah, so we'll see you in just a few. All right, back from my uh, first flight of the Reckon 5 with the DJI 03 air unit. And I really liked flying it. Flies really nice. It's nice and smooth. The video, you know, I think I mentioned when I was flying, I was talking that the I thought I saw some jitters or something. But at least in the stabilized video, it is silky smooth. So it may have just been my hands twitching a little or who, who knows. But at least video footage looks really smooth. So I don't, I don't know what I was seeing. One thing I noticed is it kind of wants to fly fast. And some of that is that camera angle. I don't know if you can see how steep it is. I got the little red um, cover on there. But you can see it's really steep. And I find myself wanting to go really fast. So I'm going to adjust that a little bit because I'd like to fly longer. I don't need to go super fast. Uh, I went for a second flight just to kind of see how, how you know, it felt with a 1500 4S on and it was 50 miles an hour or more all the time. And I realized it's because of that steep angle. So I'm gonna s tilt that down a little bit, get it down, the, you know, I'm gonna go long distance. I wanna do like 30, 35 miles an hour. Other than that, uh, it flies really nice. Everything seems well tuned and well put together by by reckon fpv really happy with that like i said i'll put the specs of the stack down in the description as well but it's an f722 flight controller from hgrc and then it's a bl heli s um i think it's a 40 amp i'll have to look like i said i'll put it down in the in the, in the description the only other thing i want to do is i'm going to desolder this little little um wire for like a naked camera it just gets in the way of me strapping the battery down and I, i'm never going to use it so it's one less thing on there a uh, couple other notes the, the beeper is crazy loud it's almost obnoxiously loud really like that hopefully i never need it but if i do i'll be able to hear the thing like a mile away i feel like so yeah anyway those are my kind of my final thoughts on this uh I wish that other manufacturers would keep on this five inch long range. They, they work so well. Uh, they, they work well in the wind, really long, efficient flying. But this, this one especially has got a lot of power. You can do some freestyle with it if you want. I, I don't think I'll ever do any real freestyle with it. But anyway, so just wanted to like follow up, like I said, and you'll be seeing more of this. I'm getting ready to head on a trip for work and I'm going to have a chance to do a little ocean surfing. I'll call it our beach, beach flying, ocean flying. So I'm going to get some really cool, cool flights with this. I'm really excited about that. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.